President Joe Biden is defending his decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan. He said the chaos during the evacuation would have happened even if America waited another 10 years to leave. Meanwhile, we are seeing video showing people outside the Kabul airport desperately trying to get out. This is video of a small baby being passed over razor wire to a U.S. soldier guarding the airport there. President Biden said the government is working to make sure American citizens and Afghan allies get out of the country, even if U.S. troops need to stay past the August 31st deadline. Well, let me be clear. Any American who wants to come home, we will get you home. But make no mistake, this evacuation mission is dangerous. I cannot promise what the final outcome will be, or what it will be, that it will be without risk of loss. 6,000 troops are on the ground to make sure those evacuation efforts get easier. President Biden says 13,000 people have left Afghanistan since August 14th. Well, the messy end to the war is difficult for all Americans, but it's especially tough for Gold Star families who lost a son or daughter in combat in Afghanistan. Mike Gooding spoke with one local fallen soldier's dad who's unhappy with our country's leaders and their decisions. Especially now, we mourn those who made the ultimate sacrifice in Afghanistan. And let me say to their families and loved ones, our hearts are with you. 2,248 U.S. military troops lost their lives in the nearly 20-year Operation Enduring Freedom, the war in Afghanistan. For their families, Gold Star families, these past few days have been hard, watching helplessly as the U.S. military withdrew and the Taliban swiftly seized control of the entire country. My son did not die for the crap that you people are doing in D.C. Virginia Beach resident Mark Stetz and his wife Nancy lost their soldier son, 39-year-old Army Staff Sergeant Mark Jr., in Pakistan on February 3, 2010. The senior Stetz is thoroughly unimpressed with how the Biden administration and the Pentagon have managed the U.S. exit from Afghanistan. I look at Washington, D.C. and go, who's in charge? I mean, the president walks out after a couple of days and says something and then turns his back and walks out. No questions answered. Stett says Mark Jr. would be disappointed in how things have played out over the last week and puzzled by the decisions that have been made. Well, I think he'd be, I think he'd be sad. I think he'd be looking at it as what did, what did they not accomplish? I mean, where, where, where was the failure uh, in, in uh, Afghanistan? It's been said that the first casualty when war comes is truth. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. First District Representative Rob Whitman is calling it a botched withdrawal and a debacle. Today, he announced legislation to establish the National Commission on the United States Involvement in Afghanistan. This panel would conduct a full review and report on America's 20-year mission from the initial military invasion in 2001 to the ongoing withdrawal.